Today I'm chatting with Melanie Light, who is a fearless vegan feminist filmmaker from the UK I first interviewed for A Bright Clean Mind. I recommend watching her short film, The Herd, either before or just after watching this first part of our conversation. It's free on YouTube, the link is above and below. I always feel invigorated and inspired talking to Melanie, and I hope you will too. Just a quick heads up that we drop a fair number of F-bombs in expressing our righteous indignation, so if you've got little ones in the room, you might want to pop in those earbuds. Are you there? Hello! Hello! Oh my gosh, it's so good to see your face! How are you? Oh, I know. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Are you in, are you still in Bristol? Yeah, I'm still in Bristol. Yeah. And you're home right now? Yeah. It's a bit gloomy. It hasn't stopped raining. So um yeah, it's just that horrible wintery vibe. Begun. So, yeah, and no one can afford to put on any of their heating. So <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, over coffee this morning, I went back and watched our Zoom call from 2018. Oh, me too. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we're <laughs> talking about the same stuff about being an artist and being broke <laughs> and having to persevere. I'm just, I've just come off working on a TV show, just like art department stuff, because I needed some money and um, I, I'm just getting my head down like at the moment actually I'm just sort of redecorating kind of just just chilling out just reading books like watching tv shows like just like just smartening you know getting rid of I mean I've got a lot of tat in my flat but like just stripping Don't back we all? yeah <laughs> no, <laughs> you know what I mean like well I'll just put that in that cupboard and then you can't see it as much um just do you know what I mean it's like kind of almost like realigning myself just I don't know, like, just, I don't know. I feel like I'm sort of ready to, like, move into a, a new, ver like, a new upper level or something. I don't know. I'm just sort of not really going out. And, you know, certain people I know that I'm like, you've always been a bit of a dick to me. Like, why? Why? I just like edit you out of my life now. Like, why <laughs> should I, you know, you've actually been really horrible to me in the past. Like, why should I show you, some, you know, like, thinking about boundaries and yeah so I was just sort of I think because I went away for like five weeks and then came home I was like right I've got to feel like something's changed <laughs> yeah I've been thinking a lot about this too especially with um with regards to like where is the where are the boundary lines like what is um in, in terms of you know relating to people who are not vegan who are still, you know, dear friends or family, what, what is it acceptable? And you don't want to accept it, you know, because mm -hmm. we were talking about, um, in our, the, our zoom call that I just rewatched, um, about being on film sets or being in production meetings and, you know, your job requires you to sit at that conference table. And as much as you would prefer to not have to watch someone eating a dead animal, um, you know, at this lunch meeting, you don't really have a choice unless you want to quit your job. And yeah. like all, it's like, it's just, a, it's a constant series of negotiations, it feels like. And then in, in our personal lives as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it is like, you know, I mean, working on set is, things are changing because you've got a lot of younger people and they're a bit, you know, they're a bit more, you know, catering's a bit better, but still like, you know, I'll overhear a conversation of, well, I, the best way to describe myself, I am vegan, but, and you're like, oh. you're not vegan, like, <laughs> stop saying that word, like, and obviously like a lot of times it's like, oh, that person's vegan. And I'm like, oh, wicked, let, oh, I want to be best friends with them. And then you're like, no, actually you're plant-based. Yeah. Like this is all, it. people that word is being thrown around so much and everyone's, and it's almost like, you know, I read something, you know, and it is just people have, it's getting diluted, it's been diluted and confused so much. What it actually is, is being completely just like forgotten about. And it's like, I mean, it's great that people are like going plant-based and they are, you know, it's a step, but it's still just, it can be a bit frustrating because 
you know, like I met someone on the last job, like at the rap party who was 10 years vegan. And I didn't realize until at the rap party. And I was just like, <laughs> we could have been lunch buddies. <laughs> we could have been lunch buddies, buddies this whole time. I had to sit oh. with my co-workers and they were eating meat. And I was just sat there thinking, why am I working with you? <laughs> got a choice in that <laughs> yeah well you know everything's been everything's been just circling back a tiny bit to what you were just saying about um you know everything's been co-opted by the capitalists oh 100 percent. yeah and yeah and so um the point that i oh, the point that i wanted to make is that i am being i'm being totally redundant by saying telling people i am an ethical vegan that is redundant, but because there are so many people calling themselves vegan who are still eating animal products and wearing animal products. And like, I, you know, the whole pregame thing, it's like, if you are, you know, you bought the secondhand wool sweater before you went vegan and you're still wearing, like, I'm not going to judge that, you know, yeah, like, yeah, you, didn't yeah. Buy it new, you didn't buy it like yesterday, whatever. Um, but the like people saying that they're, you know, they're still eating eggs and they're calling themselves vegan. That's not vegan. You're not vegan. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't worry. I'm an ethical vegan. I'm actually not eating any animal products or wearing yeah, them. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like, um, I just worked, worked on something that was like Netflix are trying to bring in stuff. And like, we had a sustainability person mm. and, um, of course, like an email got sent out and it's like, please share any of your views and thoughts towards the sustainability thing. And I was just like, I think I was the only oh, person. <laughs> Literally, I was just like, I, I think I was the only person that sent her an email. And I was just like, um, well, obviously, like we should have at least meat-free Mondays and we should, you know, and I sent scientific papers. It wasn't about being vegan. It was about pl being plant-based. And I was like, and my brother is a chartered environmentalist and he has advice for football clubs for free. So I'm sure he would be happy to like, maybe send you a message on how, how you can be more sustainable. Like, <laughs> and then they did like an awards point system and I won sustainability person on the first go because I always brought in like my own cup, my water bottle, my little bamboo fork set and my yeah. little tin as well. And like, I properly brought all my stuff in. And then like someone was like, the, the best boy was just like, oh, I was really gutted that you won that. I really wanted to win that. We were just like in the minibus going to set. And then I started just going, yeah, well, you know, it's all very well that they say this and that and like, you know, and this is, you know, but what they need to do. And then he's just like, and I just went off on one. And then he went, oh, I can understand why you won now. <laughs> And then other people won, and I'm like, I, I bet they're not vegan. To win. I bet they're not vegan, and they wouldn't do week three Monday. And I've heard one of the caterers slagging off vegan cheese, so I was just like, no chance. And I'm still like, you know, I will make a point of you want to work on my set if it's my film. It's vegan catering. You don't like it? Don't fucking work on my set then. Oh, like, yeah, I like, and now that I've been on a film set since the last time we spoke, you talked yeah. about you know, working on a film set and now, um, you know, and dealing with misogyny and the, the food issues. And, and now I, well, I didn't, I didn't experience any misogyny and it was, you know, a different yeah. situation being there as like, uh, like a VIP or whatever. Um, because everyone is here because of, all, you know, this, this story that came out of here. That's so um, amazing. That's pretty, so pretty. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. However, uh, it was, you know, we were out in the middle of nowhere, you know, American Midwest. Um, it never occurred to me, like the catering just didn't occur to me because I was like, oh, well, the Walking Dead set was all vegetarian because, you know, like your characters are eating people. Uh, the, the connection has been made and it just didn't occur to me that I would walk onto the film set and there's the catering very grumpy, staffed by very grumpy men, very deeply, deeply unhappy <laughs> men. Um, and, and there was pork, uh, the, the, the menu read pork butt. And I'm, I'm standing there like, oh, but I had no clout. I'm not, I'm not no, like, you know yeah. what I mean? It was like, I was so lucky that this film got made at yeah. all. And, and so it was like, is deeply distressing for me to watch all of these people. Cause as far as I know, I was like the only 
vegan on set, that definitely the only vegan on set, possibly the only vegetarian on set. And it was so distressing and to realize like there is nothing you could have done to have pre prevented this because they, you know, best case scenario, I mean, they would have come back to you and said, um, th th this was our option. And that catering was not their first option. I did, I was aware of that. Um, mm -hmm. they had trouble even getting this like awful catering. <laughs> so the second day that I was there, I went to the screenwriter's assistant and said, um, would you mind going up there and getting my meal? <laughs> rice and beans and asparagus and broccoli and that's my that's my lunch and I don't have to see the pile of yeah it's disgusting. No pink body parts like you can smell it like our country's really obsessed with like fried breakfast and like bacon and sausages and I'm like and, egg, and all of this I'm like this is so bad for you to eat in the morning like this is not going to give you the energy mm. and there is some caterers these days like the younger ones um and they like I've worked on some shoots and their catering is amazing mm. you know but he's still got it's not fully you know it's not vegetarian or vegan sort of thing so it's like that you know and it, it's, it's, it frustrates me it's like no animals were harmed at the end of making this movie and you're like well they were like everyone ate them every fucking day yeah but 